What's going on? My name is Kyle Harris, a.k.a. Racer Knight 99 ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Cup Race review, ladies and gentlemen, so it's time to review of the 2023 Firekeepers Casino 400 in the Irish Hills of Michigan. So, ladies and gentlemen, just want to say a huge congratulations to the number 17 of Chris Boucher. Back-to-back -back wins, four win fourth career win, and a second win of the 2023 season. Gotta say for Chris Butcher, by the way, what a, what an amazing fast race car that he has, the number 17 car. And also, this is the 17 car back-to-back -back with. The last time that the 17 car had to gone back-to-back -back was all the way back in 2009, Matt Kenseth, back-to-back. So it was a few years ago, it was like 14 years ago, the last time the 17 car went back-to-back -back wins. So I gotta say, Chris Butcher, back-to-back -back wins. Holding off the uh, the hard charging Martin Drex Jr. on the final lap to score his second win of the season and also his fourth career win for the Cup Series. So now, ladies and gentlemen, let's get on to the reviews, ladies and gentlemen, for stage number one. So stage number one, lap number fourteen, Kyle Busch uh, spins on our early caution of the race. Lap number fourteen, uh, it was a battle for the position for a top fifteen or top ten for Kyle Busch. The, um, trying to pass Ryan Blaney for the position, and he spins around. Uh, he out of the race already, early of the race for Kyle Busch. And then uh, lap number 35, Chase Elliott, most popular driver, right rear tire went down. Man, tough year for Chase Elliott, by the way. Hopefully, Chase Elliott might have a chance to win some road course next race because next race will be the Indianapolis road course, and then the other race will be Watkins Glen, and then last but not least will be Daytona on the season finale of the regular season championship. So, Chase Elliott is going to be the must-win situation for next race. The two races, they got road course, Indianapolis road course next race. The other race will be Watkins Gwen, and then the last race will be Daytona if Chase Elliott might have a chance to make it to the playoff. So, we'll see how it goes for Chase Elliott. So, and then stage number one, Martin Trex Jr. wins stage number one. And on to stage number two, that uh, lap number 52, Josh Berry filling in for Noah Craxton in the 42 car. Uh, had a, a hard hit on, on like, lap number 52 in stage number two, you know, filling in for Noah Craxton. Um, you know, we know that Josh Berry is going to be going to the four next year for 2024 season for filling in for Kevin Harvick next year. It's going to be super fun to watch and see Josh Berry going to the four next year. Um, lap number 65, uh, we've seen a battle for the lead that's been going on on stage number two. We've seen Alex Bowman in the 48, and then Chris Rebell in the 20. They were battling for the lead, and Chris Rebell spins, and then the caution came out. And then lap number 74, by the way, weathered away, Mother Nature once again. This is the eighth time that the, the, the Mother Nature rain comes around on NASCAR racing. It's kind of frustrating about that. A little upset about that, about the... The mother the nature rain, you know, and they postponed the race till today on Monday. And then lap number two, by the way, actually stage number two. Um, actually, no, I think on lap number 104, Ryan Priest, the tire gone flat, you know. And then, um, and then now, and last but not least, I want to talk about the stage number two race, the final stage two race. How in the world did Martin Truex Jr. won stage number two? He's like, on the rocket ship to the lead. Gotta say, Martin Trex Jr. had a great race car all day. Fast race car. Win stage number two. Win both stages of the race. And now, last but not least, to the final stage of the race. So, lap number 128, Alex Bowman spins. You know, he did. Had a good race for stage number two. And, um... And, then our, and also, Alex Bowman's going to be the must-win situation for just like Chase Elliott. We got, uh... Kevin Harvick is in the playoff. Caught line, Ty Gibbs. And yeah, so next race is going to be interesting because next race is going to be the um, Indianapolis Road Course for the um, at the Brickyard. So that's going to be uh, next race. So and also the final stage of the race, the final lap of the race, Chris Bell and also Tyra Raddick. I thought Tyra Raddick was going to win the race, but unfortunately the tire gone flat. I don't know what the world happened to Tyra Raddick. I thought Tyra Raddick was going to win that race, and then and Chris Buescher got the win, defeating Martin Trex Jr. in the win. 
Got to say, what a good race all day for Martin Trex Jr. and Chris Buescher. You know, two fast cars all day. Danny Hamlin came in third. He did a great job. Brad Keswalski finished in fourth, by the way. And last but not least, Kyle Larson finished the top five. Kyle Larson had a good race all day. A great race for Kyle Larson for, for a top five finish. So, anyway, just want to say congratulations to Chris Bocher with the win in Michigan. His back-to-back -back wins. I'm extremely happy for Chris Bocher. Botto. What an amazing year for the Roush Fenway Keswalski team. We got Chris Bocher with the win in Michigan and then Brad Keswalski finishing fourth. What an awesome year for Chris Bocher, by the way. He got his second win of the season. Next race will be the Indianapolis Roll Course. Don't know who's going to win next race. Could be Chase Elliott or could be Kyle Larson or even A.J. Allmendinger for next race for the Indianapolis Roll Course. It's going to be super fun to watch next race. So, anyway, just want to say congratulations to Chris Bocher. Next race will be the Indianapolis Roll Course. Um, we got a couple of races away until the playoffs coming up very soon. And, yep, so next race will be Indianapolis Roll Course. The other race will be Watkins Gwen. And then the last race will be Daytona for the regular season finale. So, anyway, let me guys know in the comments below what's your thoughts on that race. I, it was a good race or not. I gotta say, on the final stage of the race, that was a good race in battle. What a battle for the win with Chris Butcher and Martin Truex Jr. on the win in, in Michigan. Gotta say, great win for Chris Busher. Can he go three in a row next race? That'd be cool, though, by the way. We'll see how it goes for next race for Chris Busher. Or even the Chase Elliott and Kyle Larson or A.J. Allmendinger for next race. If they're good at roll course. And even Martin Trex Jr. is good at roll course, too. So, we'll see how it goes for next race for the Indianapolis roll course next race. So, anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, by the way. Vinny and Joe, and hit the like and subscribe button. Click the bell to catch turn on. If you guys are new in here, Vinny and Joe, we're on road to 2,000 subscribers. I love you all at the bottom of my heart. Don't forget to keep it red. Love you. Have me today. See you guys next time. Have an awesome day. See you guys soon. And have a fantastic, awesome day. Down to the bottom of the racetrack he goes. He's close again. Off the of turn four. Busher is going to do it. He goes back to back. He'll win in Michigan.